Go to Ohio right now, voters heading to the polls in today's primary there and today's results in the Republicans crowded U.S. Senate field could give us a big read on the future of the party. Joining us right now, one of those candidates, Jane Timken, a U.S. Senate candidate. Thank you so much for being with us. I know we talked to one of your uh, Democratic opponents earlier on Morning in America, but first I've got to ask you about uh, this document, this leaked document that is a draft decision, by no means final at this time, but could overturn Roe versus Wade. In your opinion, uh, what should the courts decide? Well, if this leaked document uh, is true, uh, it's a victory for life. Um, I'm a pro-life candidate. I stand strong for life. Um, but this is, again, a, a breach on uh, the Supreme Court's trust. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, as we all know, um, President Trump and many conservatives support uh, Supreme Court justices who uh, up uphold the Constitution and the law and are pro-life. And being pro-life, obviously, is one side of the coin here in the United States. Uh, this is such a controversial topic. It will never not be a controversial topic. Uh, but do you think that this is going to actually affect the midterm election results as a matter of people choosing between, as you're mentioning, life and pro-choice? Well, Ohio is a very strong pro-life state. I think that we have a movement behind us in the pro-life movement, uh, strongly supporting life. And so uh, I, I think that voters know when they go to the polls who to choose. Um, obviously, we see that the Democrats um, are now even talking about, uh, you know, ending the filibuster uh, to enact uh, pro-abortion uh, laws. This is wrong. This is another attack on our institutions. Um, but I will always stand up strong for life. I'm a pro-life candidate. And, and you've been endorsed by some pretty big names, uh, former Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway, Senator Rob Portman, you know, whose seat you hope to win, uh, among others. But uh, just enlighten everybody watching, whether they're Republican or Democrat, what is the overall tone among the GOP with using or dropping Trump's name even this far after he has been out of office? Well, um, President Trump supported me to become chair of the Republican Party here in Ohio, and I was part of the team that helped deliver Ohio for President Trump. It's because of his uh, America First policies that I'm running on. They were working for Ohio families. We had a booming economy, record low unemployment, a secure southern border. I'm a mom on a mission to take our country back. We've seen rising inflation. It's harming those who can least afford it. We've seen a border that is burning with its it's estimated that we will have over 18,000 people cross the southern border a day. I'm out there talking about school and uh, the uh, what's happening in our schools, standing strong with parents who want their children to get a good education and not be indoctrinated. Um, these are the issues that are motivating lots of voters, um, but they're watching what's happening in Washington, D.C. with the Democrats in control, and they want to change. They want the change of the direction of this country. That's why we see such momentum behind Republicans. Let's listen to uh, what one of your Democratic opponents said earlier on Morning in America. Morgan Harper here. In Ohio, our state legislature has made moves that are even more extreme than what's happening in Texas and Florida to ban access to abortion. Oh, you can still get abortion now, but they are moving to become extremely, extremely limited in our ability to be able to access this key type of health care. We need to have a champion for this important right, especially in this moment. Jane, what is your response to that? Well, it, it is not extreme. Um, as I said, Ohio is a very strong pro-life state. Um, and there's a big movement uh, for the pro-life movement in the state of Ohio. Uh, as I said, I'm a pro-life candidate. I will always stand up strong for the sanctity of life. Uh, and this is such an important issue. And actually, we see many younger people are standing strong for life as well. Um, and so Ohioans uh, have made their choice uh, to support pro-life candidates and support uh, a pro-life legislature. And um, that's what they're making the choice for in this Senate race. Um, and I, as I said, I'm a mom. These are such important issues um, to stand up strong for life. The voices are growing louder on both sides of this very important issue. Jane, thank you so much uh, for being with us this morning. I know you have a busy day ahead of you. And uh, next hour, we're going to be speaking with fellow Republican Mike Gibbons, who is running for the same seat. Uh, and again, we've had Democratic and Republican responses and representation here on our show this morning. News Nation tracking the race in Ohio and the announcement of results will be on Wednesday. Jane, thank you again.
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.